it itself that if let's say rooted at node 4 if i just find the subtree so the subtree would look like this now for to find the average it will be sum of all the nodes in the subtree and count of all the nodes in its subtree just i'll just get the sum the values add add it up get the sum get the count number of values and then simply do a trivial and get the answer okay i have to do it for every node which means i will go on the next node and again find the subtree corresponding to that node which means the sum of all the nodes in that subtree and also the count of all the nodes in that subtree and then again find the average and you can see that, okay i can have n nodes and the constraints also are something like this okay my n is 1000 for every node i am going on to the entire subtree kind of going on to the entire tree and then finding the sum and the count and then do what i'm doing and finding the average so for every node i'm going on the entire subtree every node which means n nodes i'm going on the entire subtree which means again n so it will be n square and that would easily work because my constraint says okay n is 1000 which means here also you will see i am just going on considering this as my root node i'm going on the entire subtree finding the sum finding the count and then finding the average again for this considering this is the entire root so sum count average again for the one as my root node sum count just consider the that node as the root node find the subtree and then just get the sum of all the nodes inside that subtree and the count and then get the average and the same goes for the last node so you saw that i considered every node as the root node and then find the answer for the entire subtree but can we prove it like right now we are we are modifying it and doing it in o of n square and o of n space is nothing but the recursive stack space because for sure we will use a dfs right can we improve it yeah we can for sure how how to know that you will see that ultimately when i am finding the answer for four so ultimately i will just go and find the sum of all the nodes but indirectly can i also say that when i am finding the answer for four i had already computed the answer for the left part already because dfs is nothing but okay to find the answer for four just imagine to find the answer for four i was going on in the left in the right and finding the entire sum of the left finding the entire sum of the right and then adding it up right so ultimately my left sum had already been computed while i was returning so i will just maintain okay my left sum right now is eight plus o plus eight plus zero plus one which is nine my left count is actually a three right this is because ultimately if i'm starting at four i'll go on left i'll go on right so while i go on left i should maintain that okay i have got this sum and this is a count for the right again i have got this sum and this is a count now when i'm returning in that thing value so i don't have to compute the entire thing for four again i'll just go and ask hey bro eight what is your left sum and left count bro eight will say my left sum is nine my left count is three bro 5 will say my left sum is 11 my left count is 2 so i will pass this information to 4 to find okay if i root my answer if my root my entire tree with 4 so 4 will be added left sum is 9 right sum is 11 the total sum rooted at 4 will be 24 again count like current node is one just one node left number of counts are actually three right number of counts are actually two so my answer is six and i can just simply go on and repeat this entire stuff so so with that i can use the previous information for example to find the answer for eight i would have ultimately gone to zero and one so i just simply pass this information of zero zero will pass okay my sum is zero my count is one one will pass my my sum is one count is one and then ultimately eight will have okay my sum is eight plus zero which is the left sum plus right sum my count is nothing but one for me one for my left one for my right here the answer will come as nine here the count will come as three so you can see we had a nine and three same for no, no, node five we will ask I know I'll ask my left child, okay, bro, bring me the answer. I'll ask my right child also, bro, bring me my answer. Left will give me, okay, left sum is zero because no node. Count is also zero. Right child will give me left, 
left sum sorry right sum is six right count is actually a one giving us five plus six plus zero as the sum zero for left six for right five for current and count is nothing but one for me five one zero for my left because no left and one for my right so nothing but giving me 11 comma 2 that is for my right and again just keep on giving this information now while keep on giving this information just make sure okay um, just find the average which is 9 by 3 9 by 3 gives me 3 is the 3 same as 8 no it is not so don't increase your answer give 11 by 2 11 by 2 is 5 is 5 is equal to 5 yeah it is okay increase the answer by this while return the information itself you can actually increase your answer just see your average is equal to the nodes value let's quickly code this up and let's Let's see that how this information will be done for us. Cool. Uh, we are the code editor, and we'll just start off. Firstly, what we want, we just ultimately want that. Um, what is the answer right now, right? So let's quickly check if it, everything is recording. Yeah. Now we just simply have the answer. Now what we will do is we will simply have our function which will count the average or find the average so find average of the subtree to it at that node right so i'll start off with some node uh, which i will consider like okay i have rooted this information as at this node and just find the answer simple uh, a standard base case which we usually keep that if our root is null so simply return a zero now you know that ultimately i need to return a pair considering okay return me as sum as well as the count so my first value is okay um my first value is the sum and next value is the count sum comma count this is what i'm actually returning now ultimately uh, you know that we will actually bring in the left information first and left right information first uh, right information so i'll just go and ask hey bro can you bring me the left pair left pair will be nothing but roots left and also same goes for the right pair it will be nothing but roots right like ultimately you are just going and bringing the value for left and right so it will be nothing but roots right now now when you have got the information from left and right just find the current sum which is okay you have the left pair right pair so current sum will be rooted at that node will be roots value plus left pair left pair dot first because we know that we will be returning when we will be when we will return we will return as sum comma count which is the first the first value is actually a sum next value is actually a count so i know okay first value will actually contain the sum so i know that okay my right pair uh, set, uh, first will actually contain the right sum now again the same goes for count i also need to get the left count and the right count i'll just say okay uh, one is for the current node and just go and say the left pair dot second and also the right pair dot second so with this uh, okay we have got the left and right like sorry the sum and the count now simply go and find the average which is nothing but sum by count now as we as we know that okay we have mentioned a global variable answer to actually keep keep on maintaining uh, how many such subtrees are there whose average is equals to ultimately it is what we have to find whose average average is equals to the nodes value if this is the case simply increase the answer and that's a global variable which will keep on increasing and this is what i will return so ultimately here i will just simply have a call to my uh, find average of subtree and passing in the root and simply returning the answer returning the answer let's quickly see if this runs okay we need to have a pair and root okay it's a node cool um it should work now let's quickly submit and see yeah so you will see that that is done so i hope that you guys liked it thanks for watching and we're gonna do it again bye bye